Hello Pimax users. The reason I made this video is because after a good two hour session with my Pimax 8KX, many times my face would be fairly warm. The reason for this is because the 8KX, their larger panels do get a little bit warmer than the 5K Plus, which I used for the last 18 months. I primarily use the Pimax for DCS and Elite Dangerous and I get to enjoy those in my sim pit that is vintage from 1997 that I totally rebuilt and rewired. I got an idea because I have done FPV RC or drone flying for many years and the Fat Shark goggles that we use come with a real nice small fan mounted on top of the goggles that provide a nice airflow inside the goggle chamber. That really helps keep your face cooler, even outside. So I thought, is there a way that I can actually do something like this with my AKX? And found that there is. I found by looking at the AKX Comfort Kit faceplate that there were three slots on top. And those three slots looked like they were a air vent of some sort, but they were covered up by Pimax so there wouldn't be any light leaks. So I thought this would be the perfect place to figure out how to bring in fresh air and have it gently pass over the Fresnel lenses of the Pimax and thus keeping my face a little bit cooler than it is now. So I ended up coming up with a vent hole that is about 12 millimeters wide and 10 millimeters tall. So using an X-Acto knife, I carefully cut a window that size. Next, I went to look for the different types of fans I could use. So I started out with a 20 millimeter, 25 millimeter, and a 30 millimeter 5 volt fan. Then using Fusion 360, I designed a small part that I could use to be able to take the airflow from a small fan and duct it down through the vent hole that I cut into the top of the faceplate. I then taped a 20 millimeter fan onto the intake of the snorkel adapter. I'm using a single cell LiPo battery to uh, power the little fan. And as you can see, it spins up pretty nicely and it's very quiet. The amount of airflow is just enough to do the job. After trying all three sizes, I found that the 30 millimeter fan really put out the air, but it was a bit noisy for my taste. I ended up finding I think the 25 millimeter fan hits a real good sweet spot while the 20 millimeter fan works and it should be just fine. I also redesigned the pegs that hold the front strap adapter in place with posts to hold the snorkel in place. Also have a flat one in case you want to use the 30 millimeter fan. Installing is fairly simple. You basically place the snorkel vent through the opening of the DAS strap adapter and poke the end of the snorkel through the 8 by 12 millimeter hole. And that's it. Powering the fan, you can do a couple different ways. One is to use a adapter that you can wire up that uses the USB-C for five volts of power. Remember, all three of these fans, you don't want to exceed five volts. The other way is to use just a single cell LiPo. And those LiPos are very easy to find, including uh, little chargers. And you can power that fan for a very long time. In fact, uh, I had a 550 milliamp battery that went for 20 hours and still had about 100 milliamps left. I would also recommend some sort of an on-off switch. That way, uh, when you don't need it, you can just power it off without just undoing the cable. 
And if you have an easy connector that you soldered on to the end of each fan, you could have multiple fans depending on uh, what you want to use for the time. I typically have my 25 millimeter and my 30 millimeter in case it gets really hot in the summertime. I provided links below for the Pimax fan snorkel kit on the Thingiverse site so you can download all the different files that you can 3D print. I also have a link to the discussion page on the Pimax forum. Hope it all works out for you. Thanks for taking a peek. And if you do anything better or a good remix, be sure to add it to the Thingiverse site. Thanks so much.